Hi everyone, this is Satyajit. Welcome to my channel, Cloud Journey with Satyajit. So in our last videos, we discussed about how to use Resource Access Manager and how the resources can be shared between different accounts. Okay, and then last videos, we already shared our transit gateway. If you go to the uh, Resource Access Manager and we already shared this uh, transit gateway between the different account. Okay, so if you see the... <clears throat> uh share, share resources okay if you see this is the transit gateway or resources share this is transit gateway share and if you go to the respective account and different account uh, let me check for this cam shared with me and a transit gateway is already available so now the requirement is in the account a just understand this is my main account in account a we have two vpcs vpc a and vpc b okay and in the vpca now i am targeting only to the vpca so in the vpca i have two two ec2 instance like jump server a and app server b so now my requirement is i need to connect to this jump server which is already have connected 10.0.1.18 ip and you can verify this 10.0.1.18 ip from here i can access it to different account which is account b and here there is a EC2 instance, okay, I created EC2 instance, that is the private also, okay, if you go to the networking, <coughs> go to the subnet, and in this subnet, uh, there is no route table to the in internet, it means it is a private, okay, and which is in different account and different CIDR, if you see 192, 168 series, and this is the 10 series, okay, if you see here, IP st starts with 10 series only, okay, uh, 10, 0, 118, okay, both CIDR are range, Okay, both VPC are different, both are private and both are part of different account. And I want to access it using the private link. So now what is the private IP of this? Uh, the IP is, so this is the private 192.168. So now what I need to do, I will try to do the telnet IP with 22 port. So it will not work. Okay, so now I need to enable via the transit gateway. This is my requirement. So now I have shared already the transit gateway. So now next step is I need to create a transit gateway attachment. Okay. So I need to go to my different account like here and I need to go to this <coughs> VPC and here I need to create a transit gateway attachment. So I need to go to this transit gateway attachment and create a transit gateway attachment. Uh, let's say it is VPC fraud attachment something i need to do and here if you see the transit gateway it's already shared and if you see this is my double nine five four account and this is double one four eight account it means transit gateway already shared so i need to select it attachment is vpc attachment okay and i need to specify the vpc id okay and uh, this is ap south one a public and to private right so i need to select the private and that's it I need to create the attachment. So now I have created the attachment. So transit data attachment is already there, but I cannot view the route table. If you see here, transit gateway route table, no route table because route table is not shared. Okay, only the transit gateway is shared. Okay, so where the route table is, it is there in the parent here. Okay, so now I can, attachment is created. Now I need to see the attachment here. Okay, if you see here, now VPC A attachment, VPC B, <laughs> if you see another attachment is created VPC, it is in pending state. Okay, uh, let's wait for some more time. It will be available. Once it is available, it will uh, then we can connect the uh, transit gateway uh, proper routing. Okay, uh, but to, before to that, while you created the transit gateway, okay, let me go to this transit gateway actions and edit it. Uh, modify transit gateway. Okay. So here something is there auto accept shared attachment. It means once someone created the attachment, I selected the auto accept. I do not have to accept it. Or if I did not select auto accept, whenever someone is trying to create the attachment, I need to accept it manually, okay? Which is again the tedious task because we know we share the transit gateway between let's say 10 multiple accounts and many, uh, they have multiple VPC and they are creating the attachment. Okay, and if we are 
uh, selecting for the acceptance manually, it will be a <laughs> difficult for an administrator. So to overcome that, we need to select or to accept. Okay. So that we need to be careful while creating the transit gateway. So now let us see the transit attachment, uh, whether the attachment is done or not. Yeah. So now the attachment is available. So now we are good. Attachment is done. And if you go to the transit gate route table, automatically that associations and propagations will be added. If you see the associations already, the VPC. So VPC ID is we can verify. We can go to this respective account. And what is the VPC ID? So the VPC ID ending with uh, CE7, we can verify here. So ending with CE7, it's already associated and it's already propagated. So everything done, only the route table related change. So my requirement is from this jump server A, from here, I need to connect to this EC2 instance. Let me check the EC2 instance here. Okay, so just an account A, <coughs> sorry. Instance one and instance two, they want to communicate with each other via the transit gateway. Same, instance one information is to be added to the instance two via the transit gateway route, transit gateway route uh, attachment. Uh, and instance two information should be added to the instance one via the transit gateway attachment. So how I need to do? Um, I need to this BPCA CIDR, okay? It is 192.168. It is in which subnet, okay? So I need to verify subnet. And this is the subnet. Now the subnet CIDR is 192.162024. Copy the CIDR. This is account two. I need to go to the account one. So account one means this one. So I need to go to this route table. I need to go this route table and, uh, okay? And this route table, I need to add a routes. Okay. So request will go like second information and where it in which route it will go, it will go via the transit gateway. Okay, done. One side it is done. Let me check the telnet is working or not. No, it will not work because both side information should be added. So one way is there. Now I need to check this EC2 instance subnet ID, okay, which is account A. So what is his subnet ID? You can go to the subnet IP only. So instance IP only you can add. So I am adding the subnet to put better clarifications better. Okay. So now I need to go to the second. And here I need to go to this route table. I need to verify. I need to go one by one. EC2 instance. This is the subnet. And on this subnet, having route table. I need to go to this particular route table and routes, edit routes. And I need to add the count one info, EC2 instance one information, and which one? The transit gateway. Okay, that's it. We are good now. Let us check the connectivity. So we are account one information is added in account two, and account two information is added in account one. So now let us check the connectivity. If you see now, um, let me uh, zoom the screen. Okay, if you see, I'm able to connect it. Okay, so account. Uh, uh, once again, I will try clear my screen. Telnet 192.1.237 and 22 port. If you see, the connection is active and I am able to connect it. Okay. So that's it about how VPC can be communicated with between different accounts. So there are multiple steps involved. One step is the resource need to be shared. Okay, and once the resource is to be shared, then we need to create the VPC attachment. Once the attachment is created, next step is the changing the route table, like changing the particular routes. Okay, that is that's it. Like uh, we all already know, like how to add the routes on the help of VPC peering and with the help of the transit gateway, which is created in a same account. But now in this uh, in this demo, we discussed about uh, when the VPC is part of different account and how they can be able to communicate within each other by the help of transit gateway. Okay, next we will discuss about, so we discussed mostly about the VPC type of attachment. Let me go to this, let me go to this transit gateway attachment. 
we mainly discuss about the attachment type as VPC. Okay. Next, we are going to discuss about the peering connections. Okay. How to do that. Okay. By that meantime, you can practice the VPC attachment between the same account and between the different account. And if you have any queries, please post it in the YouTube comments and I will review it and I will uh, help it. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, thank you.